In 1896, more than 50 men stood along the shore watching the churning sea and powerful winds pound the 167-foot Nathan Cobb, about 1,000 feet into the Atlantic Ocean, drifting 300 miles south until they hit the sandbar off Ormon Beach. The Nathan F. Cobb had sailed from Brunswick, Georgia on November 28, bound for New York with a load of cross ties. According to historical accounts, the vessel was ironically known for making shipwreck rescues that were capsized during the storm. Two crew members drowned before the ship was righted and listed at sea. As soon as J.D. Price heard the news, he rounded up most of his workers at the Ormond Hotel, including a 23-year-old bookkeeper named Fried Waterhouse, and headed for the beach. As Price has said, if a first-class life-saving station, with all their improved facilities, had done the work that our village men did with only frail, unsuitable boats and rowlocks that didn't fit, and with what other means they hastily got together, the station would have deserved unstinted praise. Although there never was an attempt to retrieve the boat, John Stanton said, some of the wood from the wreck was salvaged to build a house that still stands on Orchard Avenue behind the Ormond Hotel. This is the approximate location of where the Nathan F. Cobb sank, approximately 1,000 feet out that way.